guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I have a beautiful palette to share with you. This is the new Secret Garden palette from one of my favorite indie brands, Bella Beauté Bar. The team was kind enough to send this to me in PR and I do have an affiliate code with Bella Beauté Bar. I believe it is Steph or stuff 10, I always forget, but it's one of those, it's down here, and that will save you 10% off of this palette that drops tomorrow, April 22nd at 9 a.m. CST. Tea. And I'll also remind you guys in the community section uh, here on my YouTube channel. Now, let's take a closer look inside this 25 pan removable magnetic pan palette. This palette features many different shadows, including eight multi-chromes. There are two special holochrome shadows, and there are 15 buttery mattes. I love it. I think Bella Beauté Bar has one of the best indie eyeshadow or indie makeup brand eyeshadow formulas out there. I have loved so many of their palettes. I've been a fan of the brand for at least two years, if not more, and I'm so excited to have this in my collection. This is like the quintessential color story for spring and summer, wouldn't you think? Um, the price of this palette, I believe it's going to be $75 and then less, of course, my affiliate code or somebody else's affiliate code to save you guys a little bit of money on that. Today I'm going to be creating three looks with this palette and I cannot wait to see how everything's going to turn out. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to welcome all of you. Hey there, my name is Steph. I love trying new makeup. I am primarily a new makeup review channel, but I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes, makeup ranking videos, all that good stuff. If that sounds great to you, let me invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a big fan of Bella Beauté Bar, if you're a fan of this color store, you just want to get some inspo. You need some new inspiration for your makeup looks. I got you covered. Give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them. I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. One quick note, I think this is a remastered palette. I want to say that they released this palette a number of years back with their old formula and then this has just been an updated i think even probably some new shades in here for secret garden i could be wrong but i'll allow those of you who know the full details to educate us in the comments about that one if you guys want to see the secret garden palette from bella beauté bar in action keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyelids with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer. Okay, you guys know I'm gonna love this color story for these bottom two rows especially because of the greens and stuff. Um, what a perfect palette for Earth Day and what a perfect launch time. I know they had to have done that on purpose. So um, let's see, where are we gonna go with this one? What do we want to do? I think I'm going to start here, down here with this one. I believe this one is called Escape. And then I think I'm going to work my way into this one right here called Ivy. And then maybe move on up to this one called Mahogany. We'll try those three matte shades out and then we'll have to choose a couple of these beautiful shimmers to apply after. I'm taking that first shade on a BK Beauty N13. This is part of the Nikki LaRose collaboration. BK Beauty is gonna be having a sale really soon. I'm not too sure they sent me the dates on it. I'm not too sure exactly when it starts. I know the sale is gonna be like a Mother's Day sale and stuff. So I would imagine it starts next week, like towards the end of this month, but I'll be sure to update you guys in the community section. And I'll also have my Bella Beauté Bar playlist linked in a pinned comment in case you wanna go back and check out any other Bella Beauté Bar palettes that I've reviewed. Um, I've reviewed quite a few of them. I started um, just buying them and then they reached out and asked if I they'd wanted me to be on their PR list. I said, of course, I would love it. And then we've just we've just been friends since. And I love this brand. I could not say enough good things about them. 
Now on a rougher 15 mini, I'm going in with that green shade Ivy, I believe. Is it Ivy or Joy? No, I think it's Ivy. Just going to focus that in the crease. Love that green. So, so pretty. We go back in with a little more of the first shade. Now on a rougher 13, I'm going in with mahogany. I'm gonna bring that in the crease as well, just a little bit. But really use it to deepen up the outer corner. Beautiful shades that are blending so well with one another. We love that for our palettes. Add a little bit more of ivy right in here. It is on my nose. Let's play with one of these multi chromes. Um, wow, I'm like immediately drawn to the greens. Even this one, okay, this I'm looking at it, it looks green and then it has like a bronzy gold shift. I'm drawn to like this pewter up here. I think I want to do this one. This one caught my eye. This one is called um, Gazebo. Now I'm using a damp Morphe M124. I pick up the product first and then I just spray it with a little MAC Fix Plus. And you know what? I'm going to leave the outer half empty and we'll try another shadow there. That is so pretty. This shade with maybe mahogany is an instant look. This shade is just one of those that can work on its own, maybe just with one other matte, and you're good to go. I'm gonna go in with that other shade I was talking about. This one is called Dusted, the one that had like the green to like copper shift to it. I'm gonna spray the brush, and we're gonna do that out here. Oh, this is stunning. You do see I am getting some fallout. I do recommend glitter primer, but since I am taking this right off, that's why I'm not wearing any. But yeah, that is so pretty. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I think I'll do this. Where should I do this one? Or this one? I am going to go with this one. This one is called Thistle. And I'm taking Thistle on a BH Cosmetics pencil brush, and we're gonna do another duochrome right in here. I wanna try and use as many shades as I can because these are so pretty. And I will compare this palette to a couple others I have in my stash because I've seen some similar co color stories come out lately. And I love this green. Green is so fun. Green is just the best to work with, in my opinion. I'm going to go in with this one right here called Butterfly. I'm taking this on the same Beach Cosmetics pencil brush, and I did spray it, and look at that intensity. Okay, guys, I think this look is going to call for lashes. So I'm going to go take care of the finishing touches off camera. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. All right, guys. So here is the completed look number one. I'm using an LA Girl Jet Set Eyeliner for the top lash line. I'm using these lashes right here from Kiss in the uh, style Wide Slacks. They are part of their new natural collection. Loving these. I picked up, I think, all of the sets that they have. They are a really nice very um, lightweight lash. And then for the lower waterline, a NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner in the shade Intense Teal. The mascara I'll be wearing in today's video is from Essence and it is the Lash Without Limits Mascara. I think we are off to a phenomenal start with Secret Garden. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, for look number two, I want to show some of the pink shades a little bit of love. So I think I'm going to start with this one right here called Penny. And then I am gonna go straight down to this one over here called Strawberry. Is it Strawberry? Yeah, Strawberry. Now I'm taking the shade Penny on a Sigma E25. And we'll focus that in the crease. And that is some very good payoff. 
Now on a Refer 15 Mini, I'm going into the shade Strawberry and I'm going to build this up on the outer corner as well as bring it into the crease. I love that pigmentation. I love how well those shades blended with one another. Pink and green is one of my all-time favorite color combinations. I've said this before, but in years past when, you know, I've uh, they've asked me, well, what kind of cake do you want for your birthday or whatever it is? I always say pink and green frosting because I just think it is such a beautiful color combination. So what do I want to do next? Um... I think I definitely want to do a beautiful green shimmer. This is more of a textured one. I want to do this on the lid. This one is called Oasis. So I would definitely recommend a glitter primer for this particular shade just because it does have more texture than the other ones do. And you can see that as I'm applying. It's not applying smooth. It is texturized, almost as if it was a pressed glitter, except this one will go away when you remove it. Pressed glitter stays with you for life. All right, I think that looks really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this green shade here down at the bottom called Enchanted. And I'm using my BH Cosmetics pencil brush. Now with that same brush, I'm gonna go into this green shade called Water Lily, and I'm gonna apply that in the inner corner. And I'm also gonna drag it down beneath Enchanted. Okay, I love it. I love it. I think I'm gonna do a pink eyeliner in the waterline. We'll see, but let me go ahead and do take care of the finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right, guys, so here is the completed look number two. I love the way this look turned out for the lower waterline, another NYX Epic Wear eyeliner. This one is in the shade Pink Spirit. I love the pink with the green and then that like lime, where am I? <laughs> the lime green in the inner corner. I think it's the perfect touch. So far this palette is performing so, so well. Let me go take some quick pictures and I'll be right back and we'll start working on the third and final look with Secret Garden from Bella Beauté Bar. All right guys, so for the third look, I think I wanna do something brown, something a little more neutral, play with this top row a bit. So I'm gonna use the these three matte shades and then we'll see where the look takes us. First one I'm going in with is the shade called Wonder and I'm taking this on a Sigma E38. Next on a Singe E02 I'm going to go into this shade. It's called Hidden Something. I can't make out what the second word is. I'm going to focus that in the crease. Now on a Singe E05, I'm taking Mahogany, focusing it on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease as well. For the um, lid, I'm gonna start first with this shade right here called Serenity. I'm using my damp Morphe M124. This is like a really pretty rose gold shade. I think it looks beautiful against these browns. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade right next to it. This one is called um, Sunset. Yeah, Sunset. I'm gonna apply that right here to the inner corner. Same brush, I just flipped it over and sprayed. Now these two are textured shimmers, so definitely use a glitter glue, glitter primer for these uh, shadows. Now on a Singe E04, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Vintage, and I'm gonna apply that to the brow bone. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here. And I'm using my little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. I'm gonna take it all the way through. 
Now to top off this look, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. The shade is called Deserted. Same brush, I just sprayed it. And I'm going to put that right in here in the inner corner. This is like a green to gold flip. Wow, that's interesting. I think I'm going to do something green in the waterline. All right, guys. I'm going to go take care of the finishing touches and I will be right back to show you this completed look number three. All right, guys. So here's the completed look number three. Very neutral, but then when I added that inner corner shade, I think it took it to a whole new level. I think if you wanted more neutralness, then maybe just go with one of the two shades I had on the lid, bring that down in the inner corner. Um, but I think the green looks really pretty. For the lower waterline, another NYX Epic Wear liner. Actually, no, this is a Vivid Rich liner, and this one is in the shade It's Giving Jade. So all NYX eyeliners today, with the exception of the top lash line, I use my LA Girl Jet Setter Eyeliner and Essence Mascara. I love the way these looks turned out. I want to compare this palette to a couple other more recent palettes that I've reviewed here in my stash and then I will of course give you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so after creating three looks with the Secret Garden palette from Bella Beauté Bar, I think I think it's a must have, especially if you've never tried the brand before. I mean, this would be a fantastic way for you to get a lot of their shadows into one palette. And these shades never go out of style. You're getting just 25 spectacular shadows, a bunch of mattes, some hollow chromes and multi-chromes in there. They have one of the best indie eyeshadow formula that I think is out there and I've watched this brand grow over the years and they just keep getting better and better. Like I mentioned earlier, I think this is a remastered palette. I feel like this palette was released years ago and then they brought it back, different packaging, different formula, perhaps even different shades and this is what we're getting for 2024 and I couldn't be more excited about, about it. The pans are magnetic and they are removable. This palette is going to retail for $75 but you can use my affiliate code STEF10 and that will save you 10% off of your order. This palette drops tomorrow, Monday, April 22nd on Earth Day. I'll have all the details in the description box of today's video and I'll also remind you guys over on Instagram and in a uh, community post here on YouTube this palette is getting definitely two thumbs up from me now I want to share a couple other palettes that you may have picked up um, and maybe you don't feel like this one is gonna fit in with your collection a new to me indie makeup brand is a CXC beauty and this is their out of luck palette I did purchase this palette myself Myself, but since reviewing this palette, I'm now an affiliate with the brand. So if you want to pick up anything from CXC Beauty, my affiliate code is Steph, and that saves you 15% off of your order. But I thought this was a really nice palette. This palette made such a good first impression. And this um, out of luck palette is going to be for those of you that want more green. Whereas this one, Secret Garden, you're getting some pinks and browns. You are getting browns over here, but you're also getting some grays and black. And this is just a predominantly green palette. You get 21 shades in this one, 55, uh, I mean, 25 shades in this other one. And there is a significant price difference. I wanna say the CXC Beauty one is 50, nine dollars less the discount code that gives you 15 percent off from lethal cosmetics i just did a review over this one and one of you said how come they're not putting the names of their palettes on the palette and i totally agree because i'm hoping this one is called mellow grove yeah i believe it's called mellow grove from lethal cosmetics and the name is nowhere to be found but this is what the color story looks like and when i put them together you can see that they are quite similar. Obviously, this is smaller. This is a 15 pan palette and this is a 25 pan palette, but you can see that there are definitely some similarities there. I was sent this one in PR, but I do not have an affiliate code with Lethal Cosmetics and it is not available yet here in the US at, at Camera Ready Cosmetics, but you can buy this Lethal palette directly on their website. And I've always had a really good experience when um, ordering straight from the Lethal Cosmetics website, they ship fast and everything comes intact. 
Last but not least is one of my favorite palettes, was my favorite palette for March. And this is the Lunar Bo Beauty Moon Shroom Palette. And I'm wearing a little mushroom here. I should have worn the shirt when I did, or did I wear the shirt when I did this review? No, I don't think so. I think I was going to work. But anyway, this is what Moon Shroom looks like. And then I'm gonna compare it with Secret Garden. Different but similar color stories. You can see they're on the same spring trend, and I like that. I, I just, both of these are phenomenal. You're gonna get more specialty shadows though in the Bella Beauté bar. So if you're wanting those holochromes and multichromes, then that's why you're gonna buy Secret Garden over Moonshroom. Some of these, while they have some shifts in them, they are a little bit more just, how do I wanna put this? They're like more traditional shimmers, but with more impact. They, they just, they stand out, they do a good job. This palette is definitely, you're getting this more for the mattes, if anything, and I thought it was just such a super cute palette. I love it. There was also a face palette with it, but Secret Garden from Bella Beauté Bar is definitely worth checking out if you're a green lover, a pink lover, even just neutral tone lover, maybe you've started collecting the brand. I think this is definitely gonna be a must have in your stash. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Which look was your favorite? Team one, two, three, none all. Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.